Being part of the uh, Dreadnought programme like, gives me a great sense of pride. Um, like the magnitude of the project um, is, again, it's not one that you can, you know, just go anywhere and do. Um, we, we only build what we build here. The, it doesn't really happen anywhere else in the country. So I get a sense of pride from being part of the Dreadnought Build programme. Um, I get to help make the Dreadnought class submarine better. I get to help make them safer. So I came in too late, see the start of the Astute pro uh, Build program, but I come in at the exact right moment now where I get to see the Dreadnought Build program from start to finish. I have a passion for defence uh, since I was in secondary school. I was deeply interested in military history and uh, I was very uh, interested in uh, submarines, the role submarines played in World War II. And in modern era. So uh, I always wanted to work for the MOD. I always wanted to work for the SDA. What I enjoy best about my job is I come in on a Monday morning thinking I know what I'm going to be doing and then by lunchtime I'm doing something completely different in the afternoon. I get to help out with so many different things, I get to see so many different things and I get to meet so many different people. Firstly and foremost, I get to play a major role in national security. Secondly, uh, I love being out and about in the shipyard and we can literally see the boat it's there uh, when the boat's in the water and to when the boat is exiting battle. Most of the work I did before joining, uh, before coming to Barrow, was theoretical. Seeing that in real life is much better for your understanding. So utilise the skills that I've learned previously at university and, you know, actually apply them in a real life scenario, arguably in one of the most complex projects, uh, I guess, on the universe. So uh, before I came to Barrow, I never even knew where Barrow was on the map. Uh, I moved up here uh, to start of January last year. Didn't really know much about Barrow. It was a bit windy, a bit cold, a bit rainy. And as soon as it was May, the sun came out, the lakes are just a stone throw away. So it was absolutely amazing for uh, a fresh graduate from myself, just to settle in Barrow, be out of the lakes in the summer, be on the submarines literally day in, day out. And I think that was appealing to me to be uh, present from uh, the build of the submarine, from steel crossing to the time the submarine exits, uh, exits Barrow. I say I love Barrow. I've done three placements in Barrow and, you know, I guess that speaks volumes that I've wanted to remain here. We've got this north, almost northern spirit where, you know, there's a, everybody's friendly. We all seem to be looking out for each other and ultimately there's a common goal to, that we all want to achieve. By joining the SDA, you'll be playing a key part in national security and national defence. If you have an interest in defence, if you're interested in uh, submarines, naval defence, Barrow and SDA is an amazing place to join. You're not going to get these, so this sort of, or this level of opportunity anywhere else in my opinion. Um, it has been such a rewarding scheme for me thus far. Uh, the, the things that I've learned, I never imagined that um, I would be able to, to learn um, at this sort of complex level that we, we deal with. And yeah, applying those skills that I learned into such a complex project is yeah very rewarding. So definitely go for it. I'd say have a look. He's just tried. I've not looked back. I I put my foot in the pool and not jumped in wholeheartedly.